Rebecca, we are outside IU Med uh, School of Medicine tonight where Dr. Kevin Rogers was program director emeritus. An IU spokeswoman calling Dr. Rogers one of the school's most revered members of faculty and calling uh, and saying the community is deeply saddened by this loss. That sadness also fell tonight at Cath uh, Cathedral High School. They're hurting right now because we're part of a family. Students and staff at Cathedral High School struggling to make sense of the news. They were first to make public the loss of Dr. Kevin Rogers. We just lost a family member here and um, so it, it reaches out throughout the entire school. A family member leaving behind a wife and four sons. The youngest, a senior at school when his mother called to tell him his father was gone. She was very um, uh, clear that she wanted to, to work directly with the school so that we could not only, uh, first of all, you know, get Danny uh, aware of, of the tragedy, but then also all of Danny's friends, all of his um, acquaintances and, and uh, teachers and coaches and everybody uh, to find out so that she could obviously contact her other three sons. Rogers was in his 15th year at the school as an assistant lacrosse coach and team physician. A bio for Rogers calls him an indispensable asset to the athletics program program, giving everyday guidance on and off the field. The lacrosse team calling Rogers a selfless, caring man who loved his family, saying, quote, our hearts break without him. Principal Dave Warland says Rogers was a light on campus. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he, he, he always liked to, to tell a joke. He, he has a great sense of humor. Uh, he was always fun-loving. Uh, never uh, an uncomfortable moment with him. He was really direct. Around 12 p.m., Rogers' wife found his body inside their Ballinshire Drive home, beginning a police investigation. Canvassing the Northwest Side neighborhood for eyewitnesses, police unable to immediately identify a suspect. Really what we're facing right now is a, a, a tough situation. We have a, a male per victim that has lost his life and the family is having to, to deal with that. Uh, is frustrated and you know we're frustrated as well as the whole community is frustrated. Police tonight not confirming the name of the man found inside the home. That information confirmed by Cathedral and by IU School of Medicine. If you have any information about this murder, call Crime Stoppers. Reporting from IU School of Medicine, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.